All right, right back to the game that we just uh, followed. That was entertaining. Conference opener, Navy and Memphis each looking to start 1-0 in the American. Navy down 7-0. Ty, lava tie. Alex Tesca. All right, that's the first down. Oh, that's it. That's a, that's a touchdown. Show up your taillights, 4-6. Navy. Anchors away. They tie things at 7. Second quarter, Memphis trailing by 7. Seth Hennigan, Rock Taylor. Taylor beautifully high points and gets the toe down 14 all third quarter we're tied at 21 Blake Watson ladies and gentlemen give it up for Mr. Blake Watson make a tackler's miss this run here I thought right around here I thought is he gonna make it no but that's a heck of a run Tigers on the move later in the drive it's now fourth quarter second and goal and again Oh, that's a little clever design there, and Hennigan takes it himself. 28-21 Memphis. 28-24. And Watson down the sidelines. Can he get there? No. Memphis with a chance to put this thing on ice. Watson, let's let him score. Oh my goodness, the ball's out. Navy's on it. And they pounce on this in the end zone to avoid falling behind by two scores. Big time stand from the Navy defense. But the ensuing possession, it's second and seven. Navy running a couple of different quarterbacks. This is Blake Horvath. Big time hit. Jalen Allen recovers. After Memphis fumbles on the goal line, the midshipman give it right back. Ensuing possession, third and 11. Seth Hennigan, you saw throw one, run one in. They're throwing on third and 11. Rayon Lane is there with the pick. So now Navy, who as we all know, they're built to, to run it. Not really guys that put it up top a lot, but on third and five, Alex Tesca there. Picks up a dozen. The drive continues later in the drive, third and six. Lava tie. Under pressure. Tick, 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 tick. Gets sacked by Josh Ellison. So it's fourth and six. Navy's got to get down there about the nine yard line. Pass complete to Jaden Umbarger. It was ruled a first down the field, but it, it appeared if the yellow line to gain was correct, that it wasn't close. And after they review, they saw the same thing we saw. Call was overturned, and that's it and that's all. Memphis holds on to move to 3-0. They host Missouri and Boise State in their next couple of games. Tulane coming to town as well. They got a trip to UAB. And uh, Memphis is giving pretty favorable, pretty favorable. They're, they're not projecting. I'm going to tell you right now, they're, they're going to be underdogs in some of these games, I believe. Even, even. Colorado looking to go 3-0. and Is Coach Prime in the buffs? Are they the real deal? Of course, we got to see what our guy Josh Pate thinks. Um, Josh, how do you like their chances of getting there, getting to that 3-0 and before the schedule whew, really ramps up when you got the likes of Oregon and then heading to USC the week after? That's wild. So this was supposed to be the week, Jacqueline, when you looked at it and the total was like three or four in the win column in the preseason. This was the week where you said, okay, Colorado State, they'll probably get them after they go 0-2 against TCU and Nebraska. And that was just looking at the odds market. N knowledge independent, that was just the way the odds market shook out. Well, it turns out they go beat TCU. Then they come home last week and end up running away from Nebraska and now they got Colorado State. And what's crazy is you've got a team that, frankly, not a lot was expected of externally in the preseason that's in like a tune up game. Their, their in state rival is being looked at as a tune up, again, externally. Hopefully they don't feel that way. And then look at this schedule. All of a sudden, that game at Oregon, people thought that'd be a 40 point blowout. That's ranked on ranked. In all likelihood, it will remain that way. USC comes to Boulder the following week over under. 
I don't know that the Vegas boys are ready to put triple digits on the board, but I know a lot of people may expect, expect triple digits. There's just all of a sudden marquee games all over the Pac-12 schedule, Colorado being one of the reasons for that, that we never expected in the preseason. It's the story of college football. Anyone who says otherwise is just trying to outthink the room, and there's no need for that. Certainly not a lot of expectations for Colorado before this season, but there are always expectations, it seems like, for Ohio State. Um, Kyle McCord is making his first start since winning that QB battle. Ryan Day is saying that McCord is going to be their starting guy. He's going to be the signal caller for the rest of the season. What are you expecting to see from him?